the Pope and other people have have been insisting in so many ways that uh, the whole of civil society should work together to deal with uh, the migrant crisis and the, the integration of migrants and the refugee situation in the world. This is a good moment for uh, Catholic and other universities together with NGOs to come together to try to look for solutions. On one hand, as academic institutions, to try to understand what's happening, to use our, our resources to analyze, to study these phenomena. On the other hand, to be able to offer formation on, on a number of levels, certainly to our students, uh, certainly to the, to the migrants and refugees in our neighborhoods or close to our universities who may want to get an education but have a difficulty even having their formation, their, uh, their certificates re recognized. A third level would be, again, universities being active within social society, within civil society and appealing and pr to, to the city, to, to today's political landscape as, as important actors, organizing events, organizing formation of uh, people working in the media, producing publications uh, which help people understand these phenomena. Finally, there's a level where we can provide education today through the use of technology, uh, even to people within the refugee camps. There's, this has already been happening for a number of years now, a number of NGOs and universities have been collaborating to offer uh, e-learning. We can help develop this projects, these projects by bringing in more universities, more uh, platforms, more technology and eventually also different kinds of courses, different kinds of um, recognition on the international level.